Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, January 25th, 2023. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. First quarter moon this upcoming Saturday, but probably not going to see it because of clouds. Uh, the sun is active in the northern hemisphere. It's been really big, rolling away from us around the limb. Looking at drought conditions, a lot of the western and central Colorado is completely drought free. A little dryness slipped into the central part of the state, but we're, we still have a snowpack that's got to melt and that'll make a difference. Looking nationally, there's just less drought in the east and the west, not much change in the Great Plains. Looking at our snow, it's hard to make this animate smoothly because it comes out differently every time. Uh, but here we are on the 25th at 128%. Uh, statewide. So great, we're above normal. Let's make it over this peak and get all the water we can. <coughs> Speaking of water, we had half inch to an inch amounts out of the plains. That's great. This is the dry area around the springs, dry in there. Um, so I'll hold that off a little. Severe weather on the east coast, and then no thunderstorms for a couple days. We do have some cold air heading into the nation, some snow in the mountains here. There's a severe weather for Wednesday. Uh, more snow across the northern tier of states and the western slopes. And then on Friday, western slopes again. No smoke really to speak of. Nice. Uh, next 10 days, we are still below normal, 44 to 45. So the normals are starting to rise. We've hit the climatological bottom and we're inching up now. But not in reality. In reality, starting Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we get into brutal temperatures below freezing. And we have a pretty good chance there's lots of agreement in the ensemble uh, for precipitation. There you can see the flow coming in, uh, the big trough over the west, and the highlights for the, the animation coming up in a second are trough passing on Saturday, another one digging up there micro ridges here on big ridge over here in the west east sorry east and on saturday we have a pretty good amount of snow now the monday sunday monday storm last week totally evaporated it went way down into new mexico rather than hitting colorado so it's not impossible that this could uh, happen again so thursday is the next one this is a deep uh, southern branch storm goes all the way into northern Mexico with snow in Mexico, so that's really, I just want to highlight that interesting thing. There's a low way down here. Um, next Saturday noon, I have another low coming in, so more than a week and a half away, so very, very unreliable right now, but it has lots of upslope flow snow again. So I'll, I'll go past. So let's take a look at the overall. The reason we're staying so cold and below almost this northern flow, we have almost around northerly winds, except when cold air comes in on a trough. There's a passing trough on Saturday, Sunday. There's the one that's going to dig down, 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 so it crosses California, giving them some activity. And there it goes, got to keep an eye on the time here. We're doing okay. There's, look how far deep down that goes. So that should not do much to us, just we're on the northern side of the jet stream with cold air. Here's next weekend's uh, possibly fantasy low pressure coming down again. All right, looks at, looking at cold air and warm air, the unusually warm departing the east, there's cold front coming through. And then you're gonna start to see the purples up here with really brutal Arctic air. It comes smashing down uh, the eastern plains on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, very, very cold. We saw we'll see negative lows so and it's so shallow that it really has a hard time getting over the mountains there's never really a point that the mountains aren't hovering around normal or uh, even above normal in spots and then that plunges all the way down into Mexico mm -hmm. uh, for next weekend so let's watch these snowstorms Wednesday's a little bit of snow is departing there here comes the Friday and edge of the cold air, you have a low way up here, it drops down, and we get uh, snow on the north side for a little bit. There goes the rain and snow over California. They do need a break. Uh, it's, uh, after all the drought, it's hard to say that, but uh, true. There's the storm going way down into Mexico, 
wrapping around, getting Gulf moisture in, snow in west and central Texas, even Dallas Fort Worth will get ice and snow, Little Rock, places like that. And our storm next weekend comes in, maybe, and crosses slowly, dives south. So the next five days, maybe about a quarter of an inch or less, along I-25, and maybe two to three inches of snow, with northern mountains being a little more. The next 10 days, it's still, well, quarter inch to half inch amount of liquid with good amounts in the northern mountains, good snow up there, but that's still the three or four inch contour, five inch for near Boulder, so it's not huge. You may see snow falling for a few days, but it's gonna be very, very cold air, very, very light, fluffy snow. So 30s, 40s, going to the end of the week, maybe get a little melt, maybe a few roads clear on the side streets. Then Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it's just cold. And some pretty good chances of at least light snow, negatives, possibly single digit temperatures on Monday. You just don't get a lot of snow when it's that cold. So frequent weather updates are found at Longmont Leader and Broomfield Leader and lots of local news. Check those out. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.